Maranatha, a daily devotional by Ellen G. White. A little time of peace. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. First Thessalonians five verse three. While the work of salvation is closing. Trouble will be coming on the earth, and the nations will be angry, yet held in check, so as not to prevent the work of the third angel. At that time, the latter rain or refreshing from the presence of the Lord will come to give power to the loud voice of the third angel, and prepare the saints to stand in the period when the seven last plagues shall be poured out. I was shown the inhabitants of the earth in the utmost confusion, war, bloodshed, privation, want, famine, and pestilence were on board in the land. As these things surrounded God's people, they began to press together and to cast aside their little difficulties. Self-dignity no longer controlled them; deep humility took its place. Suffering, perplexity, and privation cause reason to resume its throne, and the passionate and unreasonable man became sane and acted with discretion and wisdom. My attention was then called from the scene. There seemed to be a little time of peace. Once more, the inhabitants of the earth were presented before me. And again, everything was in the utmost confusion, strife, war, and bloodshed, with famine and pestilence raged everywhere. Other nations were engaged in this war and confusion. War calls famine, want and bloodshed calls pestilence, and then men's heart fell them for fear. And for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, angels are now restraining the winds of strife until the world shall be warned of its coming doom. But a storm is gathering, ready to burst upon the earth, and when God shall bid His angels loose the winds, there will be such a scene of strife. As no pen can picture, a moment of respite has been graciously given us of God. Every power lent us of heaven is to be used in doing the work assigned us by the Lord for those who are perishing in ignorance.